Um, I was wondering if I could order some pizza. Our story begins as my mom and I were ordering pizza this very Friday. Let me get some pizza! We were in. Now, at this point, I really hadn't contemplated on what to do. I was just there to, you know, eat pizza, chill. That is, until I walked in to pick up our order. Then I noticed something. Okay, we're here inside Pizza Roundup. They usually don't let people live here, but I'm in here. And I had never thought we'd do this in COVID. Fast and the Furious for arcades. I don't know if we can find a way to turn this thing on. Yes. I was about to do an arcade game review at a time where basically every arcade in existence was closed due to COVID. Anyway, back to the video. It's probably not plugged in. There we go. I plugged the machine into the wall and the marquee lit up. I basically got the machine to load up the loading screen for this game perfectly fine, but then an exception occurred and yeah, it reset. I did eventually get it to load the Biostar logo, but then it said to continue I had to press either tab or delete. Those are keyboard keys. This arcade machine didn't have a keyboard in it, and uh, yeah, I wasn't able to press either of those keys. So basically, the machine was dead. So since the physical machine didn't work, I decided to resort to emulation. If you didn't know, there's an emulator publicly available called MAME, or Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. I tried to set that up and downloaded the Fast and Furious ROM so I could play it on my computer, and I didn't even need quarters to do it. I downloaded the 64-bit package file, which should work in theory, but Safari wasn't able to create the file. As such, I wasn't really able to use MAME or utilize it to do this review. So the physical hardware wasn't working, and emulated hardware wasn't working. That means... There was only one thing to do. <laughs> nah, nah. Not that overpriced, ginormous hunk of junk I would have to pull into my room. Honestly, I didn't give this video another thought until a good while later. I was honestly thinking about just canceling it. But then, we decided to go to Johnson Credible Pizza for dinner. And that's when it happened again. I saw the machine again. <laughs> I'm 
Trillion Editing says, Now on to the review portion of the video. The Fast and the Furious is a video game released in 2004 by Raw Thrills. It was originally only available on arcades, but a year later, it got a port to the Wii called Cruisin'. The games are basically the same, so let's just focus on the arcade one. The gameplay is pretty much your standard street racer, like Crazy Taxi or GTA 5. But the abundance of tracks and car customization is where this game really shines. You have several things you can customize, like your engine, decals, and type of car. And there are plenty of varied racetracks to drive on. The controls honestly feel really good for this kind of racing game. They don't feel stiff like a simulation racer. They feel fast and loose like an arcade racer should. Of course, it was an arcade game, so you use the wheel to steer and a brake and gas pedals to move forward. There's also the nitro boost system which allows you to boost forward with a giant boost of speed. It's honestly pretty cool. The only critique I have for the game is that it really just doesn't have its own identity, not really furious, just fast. But otherwise, this is an amazing game. Don't pass this up. 4.5 stars out of 5. If you can find a machine, sing some quarters into it, and try it out.